Okay, the second division method we're going to be learning is synthetic division. It's almost like a shortcut. It only works in certain cases, though. So I'm going to give you guys the step-by-step, -step, and as I'm giving you a step-by-step, -step, I'm going to go through this example because just looking at the words, um, your, your mind will be spinning trying to figure out what the words mean. So I'm going to write down each step and then do each step in example four, part A. So first part, step one right here, is we write the coefficients of the dividend in descending order. And there is more than that to this first step, so make sure you do have a little space. So this is what this means. So our coefficients, we've got 1. Then the coefficient on the x squared is negative 4. Coefficient on the x is 6. And then the constant is negative 4. So that's what that means. So you write them in descending order. If one of them is missing, you leave a 0. You've got to make sure every single one of these is accounted for. So again, if something is missing, like right here, see we've got an x squared missing there, you'd leave a zero. Okay, so that's a super important part. Next, write r of x minus r in a box. Okay, that's going to seem a little strange, just writing the words, but it goes like this. So x minus 2, so this is literally x minus r, so you write this 2, and then put it in a little box, like that, okay? So that is the divisor. The reason we put a 2 here and not a negative 2, picture if you were to solve this, if you were to take like x minus 2 and set it equal to 0, what you get is 2. So what's going in the box is actually the opposite of what you see here, okay? And then the last step, of the, or the last part of the first step is to bring the first coefficient down. Okay, so bring the first number down. I'm trying to abbreviate as much as possible. So this one just gets a free pass down like that. Okay, so that's this is like the setup. It's going to look a little bit crazy. Once we get going, I think you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so step two, multiply the first coefficient by r. Okay, multiply the first coefficient by r and write the product under the second coefficient. Okay, so we multiply 1 times 2 and then we write the product under the second coefficient. Okay, so 1 times 2, we get 2, and we write that right here under the first coefficient. Okay? Add the product and the second coefficient. So that's step 3. Oops, misspelling things here. Coefficient. Okay. So now this is going to be like a big addition problem here. So now I just combine these up. Negative 4 and positive 2, I get negative 2. And then step 3 is you just repeat this process until you go all the way through. Okay? And there's going to be more to write on this step, so save room. So repeat the process. So negative 2 times 2, we get negative 4, so we write that here. Then we add these two numbers together, and we get 2. 2 times 2 is 4. We add these numbers together, and we get 0. So the process repeats. process repeats until we're done, until we reach this last column. Okay, so now here's, we figure out, or here's how we figure out what our answer is. So the numbers along the bottom row are the coefficients. Okay, we drop down a degree. Okay, so the numbers in the bottom row of a polynomial with one less degree. OK, 
Okay, so this degree was three, so one less degree would be two. So one x squared, negative two x, positive two, and then if there was anything here, it would be the remainder. Okay, the final number is the remainder. Okay, this means there's no remainder, which means it divides evenly. So that would be your final answer. Okay, seems a little weird. A lot of words here. Once we get going, it's actually going to be a very, very quick process, and you're going to be happy that you know it. Okay, so step one, write the coefficients in descending order. So this one, 6b to the fourth, negative 8b to the third. There is no b squared. Write a zero. That part is super, super important. If you forget to do that, you're going to mess the whole thing up. And then 12b, and the constant is a negative 14. Okay? Put the opposite of this number in a box. So b minus 2 means you put positive 2 in a box. And then we just bring this first number down. Okay? And then we start our algorithm. So 6 times 2, we get 12. Add these two numbers together, we get 4. 4 times 2, we get 8. Add these two numbers together, we get 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Add these two numbers, we get 28. And 28 times 2 is 56. Add these two numbers together, and we get 42. Okay, so I basically just ran us all the way through step 4 here, all the way up to repeat this process. The numbers are now a polynomial with one less degree. So this degree is 4. So we start tacking them on to a polynomial of degree 3. So 6b cubed plus 4b squared plus 8b plus 28. And then remember, this is the remainder. So we put 42 over the divisor, which is a b minus 2. Okay, and that's your final answer. So like I said, once you get going, it's actually really, really quick. So we've got one little thing to add on here, and that's if you have something like this. If you have something like that where you've got a 2 in front of the y and not just a y, because the ones we had before were just an x, just a b. Um, so if you do have something, what you actually have to do is divide everything through by that number. Okay, so rewrite the division expression. So divide everything through by that number. Okay, divide everything through by that number. All right, so take everything we've got, divide everything here by 2, divide everything here by 2. And again, I'm just picking 2 because that's the number in front of the y. Okay, so now I'm going to rewrite it. Divide everything by 2. So 4y cubed becomes 2y cubed. 6y squared becomes 3y squared. 4y becomes 2y, and then minus 1 half divided by y minus 1 half. Okay, so now that it's in this form, we can set it up exactly the way we did before. So we take our coefficients in descending order. So 2, negative 3, 2, and negative 1 half. Put the opposite of this number in a box, so 1 half. Okay, now here's the algorithm. This number just goes down, and then we start our multiplying and subtracting. So multiply 2 times 1 half, we get 1. Add these two numbers together, I get negative 2. Multiply these two numbers together, I get negative 1. Add these together, I get 1. Multiply these two together, I get 1 half. And lucky for us, we add these together and we get 0. So that means there's no remainder. So now these are the coefficients of a polynomial with one less degree. So one less degree would be y squared. So I write 2y squared minus 2y plus 1, and there is no remainder, so that is your final answer.